Hello, my name is Joy. Another Human Race Club meeting is just about to begin and you're invited to attend. But you'd better hurry into the treehouse if you don't want to miss anything. It's time to start our meeting. It's your sister. Hi. I baked some cookies and I was wondering if you and your friends would like to have some. Gee, thanks. Sure. You're welcome. I'll see you later. And just what was that all about? That was my sister. She baked some cookies for us. But why is your sister baking cookies for us? I don't know. Maybe it's because she likes us. Don't be dumb, Casey. Older brothers and sisters don't like younger brothers and sisters. AJ's right, Casey. If any of my older brothers bought me a bag of cookies, the first thing I'd do was check the bag to see if it contained a bomb. And the next thing I would do is make sure the cookies hadn't been laced with poison. I think it was nice of Teresa to bring Casey and us some cookies. Of course it was nice, Pamela. But AJ and Maggie's point is that sisters and brothers just don't do nice things for each other for no reason. My sister has not always been nice to me. Don't you remember how she used to embarrass me in front of you guys? And everyone else, for that matter. So, uh, what's the reason for the big change? Well, one day when my sister was about to turn 16... I think I know what caused the big change. A lot of it had to do with something that happened at Teresa's 16th birthday party. It was 9 o'clock on a Saturday night. The main hall in the Veterans Building pulsated with the sound of Top 40 music blasting through several large speakers. Two rows of folding chairs encircled the huge room, and a gyrating mass of teenage bodies filled the center of it. Teresa O'Reilly, Casey's older sister, huddled in a corner of the room with her four best friends. It was Teresa's idea to celebrate all five girls turning 16 with a combined birthday party. Finally, after months of planning and preparation, the party was in motion. Casey gazed through the window of the projection room at the party going on below him. He had been standing guard over the slide projector for almost an hour, and he had no intention of leaving his post. As an extra precaution, he had locked the door to the small room behind him. In 30 minutes, it'll all be worth it. Casey thought to himself as he looked at the clock on the wall. Then his eyes returned to the dance floor. He gazed at the energetic teenagers, but he wasn't thinking about them. Instead, his mind wandered back to the events that led up to his present obsession with the upcoming slide presentation. Hello, this is Joy. 
For the ending to this video and for other videos like it, go to our website at joyberryenterprises.com.